This is the Earth. The sun heats the Earth so that the temperature is exactly the right temperature to live on the Earth. But the sun doesn't heat the Earth equally. The most energy is directed towards the equator, causing it to warm. How more distant from the equator, how lower the sun stands on the horizon. For example, when you are on the north or south pole, you will experience the sun just above the horizon in the summer. Because the sun is low on the horizon, the energy needs to be distributed on a large surface area. Because of this, both the poles are not well warmed. This can be compared with the heating. When the same heating should warm up a larger room, it takes more time for it to be heated. Until now we've assumed that the axis of the earth is a vertical line. Compare it to the axis of a wheel of your bike. This is the middle point. In reality the axis isn't vertical, it's rotated 23 and a half degrees. This causes the northern hemisphere to be turned towards the sun during June. On June 21st, which is called the summer solstice, the north side of the earth's axis is directed towards the sun. The sun now doesn't give the most energy to the equator, but to a latitude circle 23.5 degrees north of the equator. We call this latitude circle the Tropic of Cancer. The spinning of the earth causes the difference between day and night. During the summer on the northern hemisphere, daytime lasts longer than the daytime on the southern hemisphere. So, how far to the south from the equator, how longer daytime lasts. North of the polar circle, at a latitude circle on 66.5 degrees north of the equator, daytime lasts 24 hours on the 21st of June. This is the midnight sun. At the North Pole, this midnight sun lasts for 6 months, so the sun doesn't set at all for half a year. Three months later, at September 21st, the sun heats the equator again. Midnight sun at the North Pole ends. After half a year of sunlight, it's getting dark again. This moment is the start for the midnight sun on the South Pole. The polar night has ended and a new period of 6 months of sunshine starts. Again 3 months later, at the 21st of December, the southern hemisphere of the Earth is directed towards the sun. It's summer on the southern hemisphere. The sun heats the latitude circle at 23.5 degrees south of the equator, which we call the tropics of Capricorn. South of the southern polar circle, daytime lasts at least 24 hours. After the 21st of December, daytime will last shorter on the southern hemisphere, while daytime will last longer on the northern hemisphere. Three months later, at the 21st of March, the equator receives once again the most energy of the sun. The summer at the southern hemisphere ends, while spring starts in the northern hemisphere. So, the tilted axe of the Earth causes the seasons to exist.